a lot of people are on a cruel basis that we work with. Um, a lot of things that I see are when clients are getting pre-billed. They're getting pre-billed, for instance, they got billed out in April for, for May services, but the revenue is actually showing up in April. And so services are being performed and they have things such as paid media that are actually, they're paying for in May. The revenue versus the expenses are not lining up, which is giving them an inaccurate view of their AGI. So those are situations that I see that people don't give a lot of thought to that are actually making the accrual basis numbers a bit off. And so if you're going to do accrual basis, the benefit is it does give you a more accurate picture or snapshot of your financial position. And so if you're not doing all the, the different various steps, especially if the, the numbers are material, it's going to throw off that snapshot that you're looking at. For agencies, the magic spreadsheet, looking at your AGI to payroll, AGI to EBITDA, those things are highly important. The magic spreadsheet is a part of the AMI networking that a lot of the agencies and their clear groups they use. So we integrated that into our process to help give our clients that, that view every single month, besides just going to their agency, their peer group meetings quarterly or whatever the recurring basis that they have these peer group meetings so that they can see that snapshot monthly.